Some animals display some rather strange and unique characteristics, but I don't think there's any that are so strange as the octopus. They are incredibly interesting animals, and today we are going to go into detail of just how odd these animals actually are. Including the fact that an octopus can pretty much squeeze itself into anything it wants to. Let's find out more. Hello! Welcome to Brainspill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and if you ever wanted to get an octopus and place it inside a jar, well, uh, here's one for you right now, because it is entirely possible. The octopus, otherwise known for the collective term as octi, is an invertebrate animal. Known for its eight long tentacles are certainly near the top of my list for the animals with the most alien-like characteristics. These guys come in all shapes and sizes. You've got the octopus that are goliath in size that can dig down ships and whales, and then you've got the other ones like this little guy who you just want to boop on the nose. Despite their size, these animals are incredibly intelligent and have become one with the ability to hunt and defend themselves when needed, including the ability to camouflage by matching their colour to that of their surroundings, which allows them to blend in and slip away from sight. Another trait they are known for, of course, is the ability to shoot out a cloud of black ink, dulling the attacker's sense of smell and potentially even vision if you're in the midst of the ink. Let's hope that doesn't stay. But perhaps one of the most interesting characteristics, and the one that we're going to be focusing a lot today, is the fact that an octopus can pretty much squeeze itself into any nook and cranny it can get itself into. And given the size of some of these guys, it's pretty impressive how small they can actually make themselves. The octopus's tentacles are lined with hundreds of suckers, each of which can be moved independently thanks to a complex bundle of neurons that act as a brain letting the animal touch, smell, and manipulate objects at will. This allows them to navigate its surroundings and to find these tight spaces to slide into. Paired with their ability to camouflage, you can understand why these guys are quoted as being masters of camouflage. So, because of the fact that they not only have incredible ability to control and manipulate their own bodies, they are also very soft, meaning that they can fold and squeeze themselves into a tight gap at ease. And that's how they can very quickly get away from predators. For an octopus, the only real thing that they have to worry about is their beak. Yes, octopuses have beaks. And that is pretty much the only hard part on an octopus. So provided that can fit into something, they can pretty much be rest assured that they're going to get the rest of their soft, malleable body to be able to squeeze into that gap too. I suppose you could use the beak almost like a measuring gauge. You may as well try to stick that in first, and if it fits, then the rest of it will go too. I've just realised that out of context, that comment sounded incredibly strange, but uh, bear with me guys, we're talking about octopuses here. You can actually see numerous videos online of this sort of phenomenon happening. There's one in particular of an octopus that is captured by fishermen, and then it manages to escape on board. Not knowing where it went, they kind of go about their day until they uh, find him in a rather unexpected place. I'm pretty sure it was the teapot or something like that, a small dark area for it to crawl into and hide, but unfortunately fishermen like tea, and that was the one place that they really didn't expect to find an octopus in. <laughs> Mind you. One of the most well-known instances of this occurring was an octopus at the National Aquarium in New Zealand, and their octopus was called Inky. He isn't a huge octopus by any means, being the size of a football, but that alone probably made it much more difficult to track this guy down. Inky managed to break out of his enclosure and cross the floor and into a narrow drain about six inches in diameter, and found his way into the sea. Something straight out of Finding Nemo, and I'm pretty sure that happened in the sequel Finding Dory. It's been a while since I've seen that film. Investigators followed the tracks and found that he'd managed to make his way 8 feet across the floor and slid down a 164 foot long drain pipe that dropped him straight into Hawke's Bay on the east coast of North Island, according to the reports in New Zealand's news media. And well, zookeepers only realised this happened the day after when they came to find Inky to feed him and then realising he wasn't there. Yeah, must be a pretty awkward moment when you realise that the animals in your aquarium are able to escape, but uh, there we are. While staff did find out what happened to Inky and how he escaped, 
By that point, my man was long gone. There was absolutely no way they were going to find this guy after that. I mean, it's not even like the drains had to be open for this to happen. Octopus are able to use their arms and suckers to hold, grip and twist anything they need to, including, I imagine, a drain top if they need to slide into it. They're so dexterous, in fact, there's instances of octopus who are able to twist the lid off a jar, which is pretty impressive in itself. There was even another instance of this happening, where an octopus in a British aquarium was able to easily slip out of his tank every night in the aquarium, only to slither its way across the ground to a tank opposite it to have a midnight snack on some fishies. And then before day broke, he went straight back into his tank like nothing happened. Eventually, he did get caught, hence why there's an article on this, but it was pretty funny nonetheless that this little squishy octopus managed to make its way out without anybody realising for such a long time. So, if you ever want to put an octopus in a box, I don't know why you'd want to, but it's possible. Provided you can get that little beak in there, the rest of it should be pretty easy. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. I just don't understand how these things keep happening in the news where they find out that octopus in the aquariums are escaping. You'd think that, as someone who's an expert on these types of animals, they would know how smart and how dexterous they actually were. So you'd basically want to make sure that you have the single most watertight secure facility you have to stop this from happening. I mean, I don't really want squids escaping down drain holes, but at the same time, if you know that this animal is going to try get anywhere it wants to, you need to be ready for that. You need to be prepared for these guys to go full prison break out of there. And look, all I'm saying is maybe have a little bit of a longer, harder think about the, um, the intelligence of these animals before deciding to stick them in a box. That's all I'm saying. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.